Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to the Beth Williams Indie Americana Songwriter Show, episode number 100. I'm singer-songwriter Beth Williams, coming to you, as I always do, from Colorado, USA. I normally take you on a musical journey where the Colorado mountains meet the West Texas wind and beyond. However, today, I'm going to take you on a different journey. A journey to the Texas Hill Country, where Greg Forrest lived most of his life. I wanted to do something special for my 100th, that's hard to say, 100th radio show. It seems very fitting. It should be a tribute to Greg, who was carried away by the Texas wind recently. If you've been following my show for the past two years, if you're a singer-songwriter who's been played on my show, or even if this is your first time tuning in, you can thank Greg Forrest. He's the reason I've been able to do my radio show. So years ago, I told Greg I wanted to have my own small recording studio. He ordered all the equipment for me and then showed me step-by-step how to set it up and run Pro Tools. That's what I'm recording on right now. He helped and tutored me through the years on everything techie. How to shoot videos, the camera to purchase, how to burn CDs, tag them, the right printer to use so I could print labels on the actual CDs that I did for myself. And the list goes on of all the things he taught me. There was never a time, not once, that I called and he didn't stop what he was doing to help me or call me back as soon as he could to walk me through whatever it was. So, Show 100 is my way of saying thank you, Greg, and honoring his precious memory. I'm going to be playing songs of his and others he recorded through the years. Most of the recordings are older. His Texas Tune Stranglers album was recorded in 93, I think. In Times Lullabies was recorded before that, I think. I'm not sure. So some of the songs were recorded in a studio. Some were recorded live to a two-track where they were performing like at various gigs. And Greg worked with many great musicians, but his one constant companion was Ronnie Leatherman, who he worked with from the late 60s until his most recent gig. So almost all of the recordings you hear, it's Ronnie on bass. So thank you, Ronnie, for being such an amazing, loyal friend and bandmate to Greg. So Greg wasn't just a musician. He and Karen Lynn Utterback, or just Karen Lynn, started Heartbeat of the Texas Hill Country magazine in 2013. He was super proud of the magazine, and it's still going on. And I understand that Karen Lynn's going to keep it going. So y'all check that out for sure. He was a writer editor at Hill Country Happenings for 11 years. He was also the author, and he was real proud of this, I think, of a number of books published by Hal Leonard, who is the largest music publisher in the U.S., He was the founder of Hill Country Film Group, shot many videos. I mean, the list just goes on and on of all the great things he did, and he helped many people. So I met Greg in 1979. I had relocated to Florida from Texas and was living with my parents, not sure what I was going to be doing with my life. And so someone in Texas told Greg about me and my singing. He called and asked if he could come to Florida and try singing with me. Crazy, huh? But so he did. And I ended up moving back to Texas. I moved to Kerrville, Texas, where he was. And we formed Slow Cotton, working as a duo and a band for about seven or eight years. We were Slow Cotton, and we also played together in a band called Japonica. So the day after he came to meet me in Florida, we were at my parents' house. And I remember very clearly, he sat down at my mother's piano and played this song. And as you listen, you'll understand why I moved back to Texas to sing with him. Could you believe in a dream when I tell you that it's real? Would you believe, precious friend of mine? Would you believe when it seems Oh, you're proud of what you do Give you courage to carry Courage to carry Courage to carry your spirit up on high Just to carry your spirit up on high I've seen people in trouble I heard the angels cry Don't be tampered with my children Make the devil fly Spent the night with David All he taught me what to say I was looking for a small stone When I heard him pray Could you believe in a dream When I 
tell you that it's real or would you believe precious friend of mine and would you believe when it seems out oh, you're proud of what you do give you courage to carry courage to carry courage to carry your freedom up on high just to carry your freedom up on high Ooh, I could sing your rhymes and reasons Reasons to lay your burden softly down Yeah, kings and prophets dead for freedom Precious memories at prison underground Oh, I got this song that I sing I'll make the mountains ring Yeah, tell my mama that I am homeward bound Could you believe in a dream When I tell you that it's true Would you believe, precious friend of mine Would you believe what it seems That we're proud of what we do Give you courage to carry Courage to carry Courage to carry your freedom up on high Just to carry your freedom up on high Just believe, just believe, just believe, just believe, just believe. I met Greg in the early 60s as a musician. I knew him forever. Since then, we played in a lot of bands. There wasn't anybody else that you could hang out with that was more fun or never knew what was going to happen next. So I love Greg, and he called me Amigo, and in my mind, we'll be Amigos forever. Thank you, Greg. Greg Forrest, a person that will forever be in my heart and a name that will be remembered. My business partner, my dear friend, my educator, and my Jamaican buddy. I was honored to have known you and honored to have met so many amazing people because of you. People who are mourning with me because of your absence. I wasn't ready for you to leave, but may you be at ease now. I will do my best to keep our magazine alive knowing that is what you'd want. One love, Greg Mayer Forrest. Even though you thought differently, I bet your soul is soaring. When your life depends on love it can be hard to keep your place When your own is not enough You're sure to live with heartache I don't want to start again Yeah, this time I gave it all Falling out of love with you Is just too far to fall So let's dance tonight, my dear And make sure that the song is slow If a song can bring you near I may not have to let you go And I don't want to start again Yeah, this time I gave it all and Falling out of love with you Is just too far to fall So let's dance tonight, my dear 
And make sure that the song is slow If a song can bring you near I may not have to let you go And I don't want to start again Yeah, this time I gave it all Falling out of love with you Is just too far to fall You're falling out of love with you Is just too far to fall Kerrville, Texas. Greg was one of my good buddies. Played a lot of gigs with him. Played the last gig he ever played with Ronnie Leatherman and myself. Uh, I'm sure you want to miss that guy. And uh, I really hope he makes it home. His good boy, his good dog, Boudreaux, will be there waiting for him. But love you, Greg. Adios. This is Barbara McCullough. I will really miss Greg's sharp wit and his irreverent humor. He was so supportive of our move to Kerrville and of my singing, and I'm forever grateful. Uh, Godspeed on your journey, Greg. Love you. If you're just tuning in and joining us, I'm Beth Williams, and this is a tribute show to one of the most loved Texas Hill Country musicians, singer songwriters, and so much more, Greg Forrest. The tune he's going to do now is Living It Up Before the Meltdown, which was written by Rand McCullough. Stays great. We got lots of money, so. 
so let's play and play and play That's why I'm living it up Living it up human being, someone who really claimed he didn't believe in spirituality, life after death, but uh, I'll tell you what, he was one of the most spiritual people I know, as far as helping other people. He spent his whole life promoting other people, helping other people, uh, being tech support for me. <laughs> you know, God bless you, Greg. We miss you. We love you, and keep up your creativity. And now I guess you also know there is life after death, so uh, enjoy your ride on the free spirited circus in heaven. And we will see you here again, man. I had the grief and the honor of being with Greg at the time of his death at his home. As I looked out the window praying for the EMS, in a clear voice, he said, Joe, I love you. I want you all to add your names to that statement of his because I know in my heart he meant all of us. Savvy but grateful. Joe Voorhees. I'm going to miss Greg so much. I'm going to miss all the learning that went on, the mind-expanding, thought-provoking conversations, the music, the love he shared, the arguing, the laughter. I'm going to miss all of that. Barb Voorhees. Here's Greg Forrest doing an original song from his End Times Lullabies CD. The name of the tune is Tipsy Gypsy. <laughs>
I was crazy about you That's the hardest part Every day without you Every night apart I'm a true believer Another fool in love You might knock me down But I'll get back up There's a moon Doesn't know That the earth is not the sun Just like I Didn't know Ah, uh, that you weren't the one The moon keeps turning Around this world of ours And I'm still spinning Around you falling stars There's no rhyme to the reason About what the heart don't know Every sign points to me But I can't let go I can bear my burden I can risk regret Someday I'll learn I just haven't yet Cause the moon doesn't know That the earth is not the sun Just like I didn't know Oh, that you weren't the one Keeps turning around this world of ours. I'm still spinning around your falling star. And right behind your eyes, I can see, I can see the proof. Maybe give it time. I can face the truth That the moon doesn't know That the earth is not the sun Just like I didn't know Oh, that you weren't the one The moon keeps turning Around this world Greg Forrest, my brother, precious rebel friend, lover of Sugar and Boudreaux, prolific artist of song, guitar, piano, recording, film, graphic design and effects, photography, books, and more. Darling, hysterical radical, generous giver of refuge to musicians and others, brilliant free thinker, and one of the funniest, quick-witted, and relentless purveyors of the truth. If friends are a measure of a person's worth, then Greg Forrest is rich still. I love you, Greg. Mara Osborne. Greg was a good friend when I needed one. I consider him one of the best friends I've ever had. I loved him a lot. I regret that he's gone. That's the only thing I regret about my experience with Greg. Wait a bit, you're going fishing all of the time. I'm a going fishing too. I bet your life, your sweet wife's going to catch more fish than you. Some fish back if you got good bait. Here's a little tip I want to relate. But with my pole and my line, well, I'm going fishing. Yes, I'm going fishing, and my baby going fishing too. to my 
favorite fishing hole You know what my best friend did do? He caught a 12-pound catfish on a 9-pound line Took that bumpy homeboy, it tasted fine Well, many fish bite if you got good bait Here's a little tip I want to relate With my pole and my line Well, I'm going fishing, yes, I'm going fishing And my baby going fishing too Let's cook them till they're nice and brown Put a little flapjack milk batter on them We'll gobble them fish right down Well, many fish bite if you got good bait Here's a little tip I want to relate With my pole and my line Well, I'm gone fishing, yes, I'm gone fishing And my baby's gone fishing too Fishing and my baby going fishing too Did you 
needs at your sister Baby, I know that ain't true Is that your sister? But I call If that ain't true Greg was a dear friend since the early 90s and not just to me but to our whole community. I feel like he's going to leave a big hole here in our extended family because he wasn't just a great musician, he was also a great human being and a great friend. He did a lot to help young people, he mentored them with music and he also made sure they had a roof over their head sometimes at his uh, Slecker Mansion. So he will be very missed. We will have tears and smiles when we think about him. Greg was a revolutionary in the very best sense of the word. He lived his life the way he believed a life should be lived. According to one's beliefs, he made no apologies for who he was. He was a basically a Renaissance man who really could do it all. I met Greg in 1979 when he and Beth played a gig in a venue where I was working. Through the years, I came to realize that there was so much more to Greg than just a rock and roller playing in the bar. He was incredibly intelligent, a brilliant writer, and was always faithful to his own inner truth. Greg had a lot of integrity, and he always stood up for what he believed. I've been done so dirty I ain't never been this blue I ain't never been done this dirty well, I've never been this blue Thanks for joining me. I'm Beth Williams, and this is my Indie Americana Songwriter Show. On this episode number 100, we are featuring one of the most loved musicians in the Texas Hill Country, and he did so much more. You can go to musicoffice.com as well as gregforest.com and learn more about him and the things that he offered up in this life, the gifts that he shared. Just FYI, all of his music the songs that you're hearing, they're on his website, gregforest.com, and they're downloadable. They're free. It was a gift from him to the world. So you can go get those and just play them and think good thoughts for Greg when you hear them. Greg inspired me in so many ways. I met him when I moved to Kerrville in 84. He encouraged me to create radio shows on Texas music. We did many projects together. And I ended up writing for his magazine, The Heartbeat of the Texas Hill Country. He's been a constant thread in my Hill Country life, creativity, music, and my heart expands with his memory. Here he is now, Greg Forrest, singing My Back Door, a tune written by Gary Wimmer. All I saw were the good times that we had It seems that time just passed us by When things go right, I never question why Here I go 
God allowed and arranged for me to be with our dear friend Greg in his final moments on this earth. Farewell, friend. See you again in the twinkling of an eye. Nancy Gray Rector said, I've been having a hard time putting my feelings into words. I loved Greg as a friend. He could be infuriatingly opinionated and a fierce friend at the same time. He took me to the Psych Fest in Austin to see the elevator reunion, and he could have taken anyone. And missing him more than I can say. One love. I got a strong love, and it hit me. Got me right between the eyes. Oh, if there's such a thing, then let me sing to you. You wouldn't know me, but I'm witness. A brand new state of mind Move on to another frame I don't want to play that game Again All the things you stood to do When you're trying to make it through You're backing up against the wall You're playing by the rules You're listening to fools You better know that you're about to fall But then it hit me Unexpected When I finally hit the ground There ain't nothing worth as much As a love you can never touch 
for bye. travel he made me realize that it's possible to go anywhere and do anything and now i bring him with me in my heart everywhere i go Charm. When that world is 
comes through with us We got each other's arms You gotta laugh a little Cry a little Let those clouds roll by a little Oh, that's the story of That's the glory of love That's the story of That's the glory That's the story of That's the glory of Thanks for joining me for this special one-hour tribute to Texas singer-songwriter, musician, and so much more, Greg Forrest. I want to say a very special thank you to all of the people who called in and gave a word, a tribute to Greg. So next up, I'm going to do a tune of his, an original song of his. This is called The Valentine Song. is coming It's that time again Lovers share their feelings and look back on where they've been Holding each other A meeting of the minds And reaffirming their love Be my Valentine Well, love's the greatest feeling When it works out right And I'm glad that we're together Oh, especially tonight I've been shot by Cupid And left my old life behind And I hope you know I love you Be my valentine Yes, all the things we've been through All the good times and the pain If I had to do it over I'd do it all again It's true I'll always love you Until the end of time Love's the rock we're anchored on Be my valentine Years go by and we grow old Sunset's drawing near I'll meet you on the other side So there's no need to fear The joy and love you've given me Will stand the test of time Even when it's over You'll be my valentine All the things we've been through All the good times and the pain If I had to do it over I'd do it all again And I hope you know I love you Until the end of time Love's the rock we're anchored on Be my valentine Yes, love's the rock we're anchored on Now it's time for a word from Linda Bullard, who is one of Greg's oldest and dearest friends. I'm sitting here with Sugar, Greg's beloved Sugar, and she wants to be part of this too. So I would like to read a handwritten poem, which I received this morning. It came from an area near Truser Consequences, New Mexico, where Greg's dear old friends Joe Mann, Cole Punky, and Suzanne Freeman are on their semi-annual pilgrimage. Punky was a classmate of Greg's at Tyvee High School, and I met them both when they were seniors and I was in my last year of college. Greg was 17 and I was 22 when I waltzed into his French class, fresh from Europe. We celebrated our 50th anniversary of friendship last year. Greg left me in charge of his last needs, and um, 
my brain is just too full of that enormous responsibility to speak about him just yet. So I would like to let the words of Suzanne's poem speak for me. She wrote, out of respect for the deceased, this poem will not be sentimental for G.F. Upon learning his diagnosis, he responded in typical fashion with the following comment. I've had 67 years of debauchery. I can't complain. The poster child for youthful excess, in his prime he could blow perfect smoke rings, pull the caps off beer bottles with his bare teeth, ingest heroic doses of whatever substance he could get his hands on. By his own admission, he threw away two fortunes on toys, travel, and generosity to the point of poverty. In relentless pursuit of beauty, he claimed he turned countless females into lesbians. But the women he didn't chase away remained bonded to him against all odds and logic, as he liked to say. A self-taught biblical scholar and political pundit, he gleefully dished out offense and aggravation with his rantings and ravings, but we always forgave him. This devilish wit machine, this merry-making maestro of 10,000 gigs. He was the hub of a vast and ever-expanding wheel of friendship connections. But now the wheel has come off the wagon, and how do we go on without the person who was the most fun to be with? He would want us to remember, the good times are here and now. The good times are here and now. One love to you, dearest Greg. May you rest in eternal Jamaica.
They say every distance is not near But I see the face of every man Every man that put me here I see my light come shining Okay, everybody take a deep breath. That was beautiful. That was Greg Forrest. Thank you all so much for joining me for this tribute to this wonderful person. And remember, you can go to gregforrest.com. You can get these songs, download them, listen to them, and share them with your friends. That would be a great way to honor Greg's memory. So that's it for me. I'm all out of time. I'll be back same time, same station next week. Until then, I would love for you to join me on Facebook, Beth Williams Music, as well as YouTube, Beth Williams Music. So until next time, this is yours truly, Beth Williams, wishing you well, reminding you don't look back, be happy now, and as Greg loved to say, one love. Be where you're at now, now Don't look back Be happy where you're at now